So, you were energetic growing up, huh? Didn't pay attention in school. A little bit jittery. Teacher couldn't handle you. Because you were goofing off and joking around. So they sent you to some office where some hippo tells you that you have ADD and therefore there's something wrong with you. What does that mean? Stick around. ADD or ADHD Attention Deficit Disorder and Attention Hyperactive Disorder. Man, I really hate that word to describe that. Disorder. That isn't a disorder. There's nothing wrong with having that, and it doesn't make you lesser. It doesn't make you abnormal. It doesn't make you odd. It's, there's nothing about it that's bad at all. Let me explain to you what ADD and ADHD is, and where you most likely got it from as a Northern European. In the Mesolithic, our hunter-gatherer ancestors, the Western hunter-gatherers and the Eastern hunter-gatherers, probably had, by and large, ADD and ADHD. Because ADD and ADHD, if you'll notice, as somebody who has it like I do, um, we're very perceptive to our surroundings and easily distracted. Well, that serves a great benefit to the hunter because the slightest sound or the slightest movement or brush will cap captivate us. It will enthrall us. It will take our attention. What's that? You know? Oh, what the fuck's that? And it's when we find that, and it's something that we take an interest in, that's a very important word, remember that, the word interest. And it's when we find that target, let's say we're hunting for something, and we hear it, then we hyper fixate upon that target. And we do so only when we are interested in that target. When, when there are merits to that thing that we are hyper fixating on for us, be it food or be it something in your life that you care for. I'm not going to hyper fixate on this stupid ass bullshit that's going to be irrelevant to me when I'm a man or an adult because I don't care about it in class, for example. Well, he's just not paying attention. He just... He, he doesn't care. No, you're right. I don't care. So why, why would I focus on something that I don't care about? When you're in the forest and the hunter hears the branch fall from the trees and hit the ground, is that an animal? No, nope, that's not an animal. That was a branch. I don't care about it. Where's the animal? Where's the food? Where's the target? That's what I'm fixated on, hyper fixated on. That's what I want. And I want it now and I need it. And I will be dauntless until I obtain what that is that I want. That's the hunter brain. That's the ADD. That's the ADHD. When did we lose ADHD? When did we lose ADD? It was when we started to have sedentary lifestyles. And we became farmers. Or our other ancestors became farmers. That mentality was not... Or that, that brain rather, that type of brain was not beneficial to us any longer. We needed patience because we were sowing crops, we were planting, we were growing, we were tilling soil, all for the preservation of, of food and for consumption. It's things that took time and patience and diligence, and the hunter of course has patience and is diligent, but a different kind, given a different environment and lifestyle entirely. So how did you get ADD and how did you get ADHD? It was preserved in your genetics from those hunter-gatherers. I had amphetamine scarfed down my throat when I was a child because 
I was eccentric and uninterested in class, and therefore their solution to that, to calming me down, was shoving meth down my throat and telling me that I had a problem with my brain. I don't have a problem with my brain, and neither do you, because I have achieved things in my life, and I am able to sustain myself perfectly fine in life and do the things that I want to do in a perfectly normal and rational way. Am I odd? Yeah, I'm pretty fucking weird. Sure, but I don't give a fuck if you think I'm weird or not. I'm happy, and most people that are think I'm odd or weird or don't want anything to do with me are usually miserable people because there's two types of people in this world. People that like me and people that ought to. Okay? So I don't care. I'm able to do the things and have done the things in my life that I wanted to and are good for me because I wanted to. When I had meth scarfed down my throat, ADHD medication, the only thing that it was successfully able to do for me was numb me of my energy and make me less excitable. Because I think as I've gotten older, my ADHD has sort of maybe devolved into ADD. Because I'm not a particularly hyperactive guy. Um, but I guess the symptoms or whatever are still there. But nevertheless, what did the meth do for me? Well, it didn't make me do better in school because I didn't care about the things that I was studying in school. All it did was numb me and make me calmer. But I didn't do good because I didn't care about the shit that I was studying. Half of it, I didn't care about it. And <laughs> I remember it. And none of it is relevant to my life today. None of the things that I studied are, were relevant or interesting at all. So the meth accomplished nothing. It did nothing good for me. It did good for other people, though, because it leveled me out. It caused me irreparable jaw damage. That thing I always do with my jaw where I'm popping it, it's because of that. It turned me into a decrepit fucking skeleton because I was never hungry at all when I was that age. It did nothing good for me. And so therefore, not only did it do nothing good for me, but it also completely and totally changed my view of of doctors and medicine, at least in the Western world. Because they wronged me. They wronged me. And if you took that medication, they wronged you too. If you have the hunter brain, you are not lesser. As a matter of fact, it's quite the opposite. When a hunter wants his kill, he is dauntless. He does not stop. Hunger is a big incentive. And I might not be hungry, but I'll tell you what I am. I'm passionate. I've gotten two certifications in the Russian Federation because I wanted them. I'm, I live in Europe and moved to Europe and have studied another language. Haven't mastered it, but have studied another language for many years because I wanted to. Because I wanted a life there. Because I wanted to return to the lands of my ancestors. I wanted those things and therefore I got them just like the hunter needs his kill. You are not an aberration for having a hunter's brain. You are not lesser for having a hunter's brain. And you certainly don't need fucking meth to accomplish the things that you want in life. The simplest solution is to focus on things that you desire and be dauntless until you achieve them or obtain them, no matter what. Just because you don't have ADD or ADHD, by the way, doesn't mean you don't have the hunter's brain. You can get whatever you want in life. Just focus on it. And never give up. Thanks for watching.